What is up, guys? And welcome to episode six of my Shout of the Tomb Raider trivia walkthrough series here on the School Zone. We are just cruising along here, so I'm gonna pick right back from where I left off in the last episode with Laura standing on the scenic cliff. I checked out the nearby tomb, and a lot of times the prizes in these tombs are just some clothing that gives you a little bonus to something, like finding more salvage or whatever. They're fun to explore them, no doubt, but they're not essential to the story, so you're not missing out. I'm actually gonna tackle one of the crypts in this episode just to show you. Anyway, a quick shout out to my amazing Patreon supporters. They're really making a difference on the channel. And if you too wanna help get me close to doing YouTube full time, as well as get a bunch of other cool perks, then head over to my Patreon page and see what you can do. Any little bit adds up and is sincerely appreciated. All right, well throw a quick like on the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's do this. Laura, how's it going? <sighs> Just cross the river, almost at the prison. There are guards everywhere. We're heading towards the river. Get back to you when we're there. <sighs> okay. The box is not in Paititi. I know. I will be forced to join Amaru. Everything I fought for since Aidi's death will be lost. I won't let that happen. Come on, let's go. We're out of time. Someone needs to find that box. If the sun is not recharged or the world we made, all of us will be destroyed. I found another clue. Maybe. The tattoos on your arm, the heron and the eclipse, the same symbols were found engraved on the altar where the box was taken. What? What do the symbols mean? This one shows my destiny. The crimson fire of Chak Chin. And this one grounds my past. It symbolizes Chimchichika, the last true emperor of Paititi. His tomb is in the upper district. Can you take me there? They're all over that tomb. If there's anything there, they would no doubt have found it already. Amaru doesn't have this clue. He doesn't know what to look for. Is going to be crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. Then there is no time to waste. How is Edsley? Safe. He helped me find you. He should be with Uchu now. The ruling family is displaced, reduced to nothing but a figurehead while we truly control the city. The reason for allowing them to remain in position of seeming power is twofold. 
It allows us to focus on our search for the silver box, and it acts as a pacifier for the locals who are recalcitrant to any type of change. Jonah, I'm with Unuratu. Oh good. Ensley wants to talk to her. Mother, we're sending backup. Should I support Uchu or use the distraction to seize territory? You're in charge while we're separated, Ensley. Trust your instincts. Let's go. They love us. I think that's the last of them. You lead.
quite the grim welcoming committee. The victims were offered to the gods. They left the cities and wandered the provinces until they were buried alive. Kukul Khan departs Paititi during New Moon. Kukul Khan returns with several other outsiders during the waxing of the moon. They argue. The next morning, the entire group, now in better spirits, leaves in their obsidian birds. to find another way out. I don't have enough space for that. May Quispi have acquired a surplus of foods, supplies, and comforts by the time we meet him in the afterlife. These traps are more complex than I could have imagined.
I think we're clear. Let's go. Take this key. Come, I want to show you something. The eclipse is coming. Once it is here, the box must be opened. Temptation of the box is so powerful, it will pull me toward it, intent me with a fantasy, an easy way to solve our problems. But it will only show me my strongest, most secret desires. I have prepared my whole life to resist it. Amaru has not yet seen the box, but already its power corrupts his mind. Paititi is its people and can only survive by our will, together. 
So, if Amaru remakes Paititi his way, it's like he destroys it? Yes. We face many threats from the outside, but risk is a part of life. We must confront it to remain true to ourselves. How do you know you'll be able to resist the power once you have it? I don't. But if my training fails me, the Crimson Fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. We should go. What is the Crimson Fire? It is my destiny. According to legend, the key and shakshal and the silver box of Ishel were created in the heavens for one purpose, to destroy and restore the sun. The ritual can only be performed during an eclipse. Once the ritual is completed, the chosen avatar will hold the power of the sun within them. Having become the god of creation, Kukul Khan, they must sacrifice and release that power to restore the sun. But the silver box tempts people with visions of an idealized world they could create with that power. A fantasy of their own mind. An entirely new reality, only at the cost of destroying this one. It's connected to the sacrifice of Kukulkan. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. It's a powerful force of accountability. That's all I know. Do any of those creatures ever find their way in here? Creatures? They attack. In the caverns around Paititi, they were in conflict with Trinity. And at the altar where the box was taken, they came after me. Do you mean the Yashil? Yashil. They were tall and fast, hungry, almost desperate. I would not call them creatures. They're more than that. The key I gave you should work here. What happened to the Yashil? There are many legends. Long ago, but Petiti owes much of his safety to them. They protect it. I don't know if that's their intention, but their actions have that effect. They don't ever attack the city? No. We have always lived in cooperation. I think Amaru might be planning a public sacrifice. Of a rebel? We have to stop it. No. Not unprepared. And not at the expense of the box. Come on. 
They are afraid, and with good reason. Not much further. The tomb is beyond that door. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. The tomb is up there, on that statue. I'll watch the gate. I won't be long. Jonah, we're close to the Emperor's tomb. We're by the river, ready to get you and Unuatu out of there. Let me know when you're ready. Full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. That looks like my way in. Laura, oh, where up. are you? Can't carry the Emperor's tomb. I almost have what we need. We'll be ready. Layers of symbolism in these stucco panels. Someone is keeping these fires burning. This figure must be loved. This altar is elaborate. This must have been an important ruler. influence is unmistakable. All full up. Can't carry any more.
The last Empress tomb. <sighs> the cult must have taken root after his death. Okay, the Eclipse and the Heron. <sighs> what am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup. The heart of the serpent. Ah! This is Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft. Give this to Wetsley. He's a rifle heir. He must live by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Don't go, keep talking to me. The box, it will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny. A clue to where Lopez took the silver box. The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. Janubin Impactic. Kukulkan. <laughs> <laughs> Shimbal na catch! 
תנקשטח לכוללו! אנטנש! אנטנש! בקפצ'טש! All full up. Can't carry any more. Catch car, bet him. Bash the hello. In much more. Why? He can kill! ZANG <laughs> 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 In much mach, why ye? Can I walk a sikaba? Match in a cash lag le hulo. Means of Kubin in Walik. Kimen Kukulkan Kunkamik Kuntul Kabetin Katpeksi Bash Kuyuchul Shimbaltesh Le Kuchila Matunzok Kulutan Matunutstal Tatan Bash Kunuchul Le Kenin Kastech
Jonah, where are you? I'm down by the docks. I see you. Hey, just about ready to go. On my way. Where's Unuratu? We were attacked. She died fighting Trinity. Oh no. Yeah. Where is my mother? Your mother. She... She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was a warrior. The eclipse draws near. If we cannot restore the sun... I'll find the box. I won't let the cult of Kuku Khan get to it first. Begin the preparations for the Belio chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. Take care. We will be ready when you return. So what's next? We'll head back to Kwakyaku, regroup and take it from there. that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this. What is that? Look what I found. Don't move. Don't try me.
Check over there. Anything? I'm still not 100% convinced the box even exists. Got anything? All clear. Go, stop, this. wait, What's go up, fast. Jake? The life of a soldier. Should I be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming? Find something. Damn it. The rush all of a sudden. <laughs> Nothing in this area. Anything? All clear. It's not around here. The second looks empty. Couldn't wait till morning. <laughs> All full up. Can't carry any more. The rush all of a sudden. <clears throat> <time. laughs> okay, last time. I think we looked over here, here, maybe here. Is that what you remember? I don't know. Does it matter? If we miss something the first time, we should look at everything again. Yeah, good point. Okay. Do you think the river is higher or lower than it was? Come on, man. Stop asking me to remember things. As soon as Operation Lone Wolf got called off last time, I completely pushed it from my mind. You find something? When I have something to report, I'll report it. Should I be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming? Got anything? Stop asking! The sector looks empty. You find something? When I have something to report, I'll report it. This couldn't wait till morning. <laughs> Got anything? Stop asking.
I can't wait to finally see this box I've heard so much about. I don't have enough space for that. Did you find something? When I have something to report, I'll report it. It's not around here. anything stop asking this sector looks empty this would be easier if it wasn't raining Ready to engage. Let's have a look around. Loose diamond formation. We got her corner. Lara Croft, how? We're spread out way too goddamn thin for that. This was a research operation. Let's just spread out and make the best of it. I'll cover that area, you stay here. Gotta check every shadow. Now Rourke tells us to look for Croft. Who are we supposed to listen to? Well, Rourke is a military leader, and Dominguez's decisions are getting people killed. 
So you better decide right now where your loyalties lie. Are you fucking kidding me? It's as simple as this. I need to know you have my back. The man lost contact with Roteen. Let's make sure it doesn't happen twice. She's not getting past us. We really gotta stop her. Croft. You have to admire her persistence. We really gotta stop her. What the hell happened in the city? Something's off here. All clear. What's going on, Commander? We got hit by a force shot. Kappa team. All clear, sir. This is Cardinal 2. I've got force shock damage in Juliet 3. A rock slide took out the tertiary pumping platform. No fire. Follow the trees and completely block the access road to Kilo 2. Impossible. I can't carry any more. This is a record of a mercenary's assignments while working for Trinity. Mexico. Kenya. Siberia. I had my crosshairs on the younger one too, but Rourke had orders for us to leave her alone. This is the bastard who shot Anna. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rourke. I don't have the box. Jonah. God, if anything happens to him. God damn it.
Who is this? I've suspected you've been monitoring my communications since Mexico. <sighs> Rourke. Commander Rourke. You've been listening to me. And now, I'm listening to you. Another foreshock. How's it feel, knowing you're responsible for all these cataclysms? All that suffering? I know what I did. The look on your face when Dominguez told you? But you just had to have that dagger, didn't you? Forward outpost. Croft is moving into your area. Find her! Croft slipped right through the guys at the beach. It can't happen again. We'd better do a sweep. Anything interesting in that new shipment? Thermal goggles, gentlemen. I'll take point. I got something! Where? Shit! False positive. Some animal. Hey, are we getting those lights up or what? I'm never gonna get them working if you keep pestering me. What's the damn hurry all of a sudden? Rourke said Cross coming through here. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I'm hurry. Here we go. Those goggles picked up anything yet? Small animals, nothing significant. <laughs> I'm gonna make a full sweep of the area. She's over there. Hold it. You got it. I got nothing. You? Same. Alright, if you want, it won't matter. I hope somebody can see something. What? Heading over there now. I don't have enough space for that. God damn it, people, use the goggles! Find her! Evening, Ralph. Evening, Sam. Do you see anyone? If I did, I'd be shooting. More good men down. Those 
guys weren't exactly careless. <sighs> what if they're hiding? Unless the concealment is completely blocking the heat she gives off, I'll see her. I haven't heard from the guys at the river lately. As if looking for something in the dark in these ruins wasn't creepy enough. I used to go hunting with my dad in conditions just like this. Except the ruins were creepy old... what now? Checking now. Got something. Maybe. I'll go see. Oh. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Enough space for that. that needs to look. Negative, I'm covered. On me, cover all sides. She doesn't have a chance. Warm up. Hey, facing intruder. Jason. I can't carry any more. Get off this channel! What? They're listening! Okay. I'll find you!
It's a recipe for a hallucinogen, sometimes used in war. This should help. If I use this on my arrows, it could be an advantage against Trinity. All full up. Can't carry any more. This must be Mama Zara. <laughs> I always thought her forms of worship were a fun tradition. She was the Incan goddess of grain, and her name means maize mother. So if ever a farmer found a strange maize plant, they would dress it up like a doll in honor of her. She was also the goddess of willow trees, so sometimes the farming communities would hang one of their maize dolls from a willow tree and dance around it for her. Tau team, Croft is on a vector toward your position. I say again, Croft is coming to you. Jesus Christ. Shh. We'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next in line for deacon training. Rourke out. You heard the man. Let's do this. Can't get through everyone. Jesus, you look like shit. Find out what the hell's going on. Kill anything that moves. Fuck. Hey. Huh? Hey. What's going on? Anyone got the heebies? Oh shit. I better look around. You see anything? Start shooting. Loose diamond formation. Roger. Whoa. I need more eyes on this. Let's have a look around. Jesus, you look like shit. Keep your voices down.
I don't have enough space Fire for that. All full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Jonah? Jonah, come in, please! He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock! If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you.
This hard hat is decorated with peacock feathers and what seems to be the likeness of a jaguar. Cardinal 2, I've got a lock on the target. Shit! Pilot in position, opening fire. You can't hide from me, Rourke. You are fucking dead. This is Rourke. I've been called back to Cam. Winters, Croft is all yours. Rourke!
Base camp, this is Cardinal 2. Reinforcements on the ground. No, but we're stable. Croft, I know you're listening. I'm the last one to deliver. Making everything work. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this.
Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something... The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. Could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you? Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. Want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel.
All full up. Can't carry any more. The stone faces have always been Sarah's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sarah. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while I could convince Sarah to come with me. Usually if some kind of ruins were involved. Those were the best times. I have a feeling she and I will get along. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off. Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I could never forgive myself. Alright. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. You're overreacting. Are you kidding? She wasted enough of my time here. Full up. Can't carry any more. Yeah. <laughs> Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. ¿Alguna vez pensaste en adentrarte en la selva para echar vista? ¿Cuál es su posta?
Vino para su ser espiritualmente y se vino recogiendo excremento como un granero. ¿Puedes creerlo? Tal vez debería cambiar este rastrillo por una pala y un látigo y empezar a buscar tesoro. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? I'm sure you will be satisfied. Good deal. Good deal. Pleasure doing business with you, friend. This seems like a good place to end it, guys, as we're having another interesting village here to explore. So we'll tackle that in the next episode. Now, the Christian missionaries played a big part in the history and development of South America, and I was wondering if they were going to touch on that at least a little bit, and it looks like they might. I love games that, like, have a, a sense of historical realism to them, you know, to sort of embrace the plot of the game. You know, those are, like, my favorite kind of games. You know, Fallout, the Fallout universe, you know, takes place in real cities, even if it's after the apocalypse. Apocalypse, but you guys get the idea. Also, I think we're getting close to the end. It might not be the next episode, but it might be. And then we'll roll right into Assassin's Creed Odyssey, another such game that I'm talking about here. Thanks again to my Patreons for helping to support the School Zone. If you too want to help out, links to my Patreon page are in the description below in the iCard above. See you in the next video, and as always, stay smart.